I'm Chef Jen, coming to you from Airy Restaurant in Oak Park. Airy is a student-run restaurant that's part of Robert Morris University's Institute of Culinary Arts. Here at Airy, we focus on local and sustainable foods, and today we're going to be working with our beautiful pizza oven. So we're gonna start first by rolling out our pizza dough. So I have a little extra flour here on the side, and I'm gonna flour my board just so that the dough doesn't stick. So I'm gonna start by rolling it out, and you wanna give it you know, some good pressure. You wanna make sure your dough is room temperature when you're rolling it. And then I need to dock it. And what that means is I need to sort of puncture holes in it because otherwise when I par bake it, which is partially bake it in the oven to start, if I don't do that, it'll really puff up. But you just wanna go through and you wanna give it a good docking because otherwise you're gonna end up with what will look like a pita. Put it into your oven for about a minute and a half. I'm gonna go into our 500 degree pizza oven for just about a minute just to partially bake it so that it has nice structure when I put all my toppings on it. Okay, so we've par baked our dough and now we're gonna build our pizzas. So we're doing two different kinds of pizzas today. We're gonna start with a roasted tomato, goat cheese and olive pizza, what I consider kind of a Mediterranean pizza. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of olive oil. I have infused this with a little bit of basil and tarragon and we're just gonna cover our pizza crust with this. Now I'm gonna top it with some roasted tomatoes. I just took cherry tomatoes and I threw them on a sheet pan with some olive oil and put them in a 400 degree oven and roasted them just until they started, the skin started to burst. So just smash your tomatoes on there. These are pitted Kalamata olives that I've sliced in half. These are gonna add a nice salty factor to our pizza and they add a lot of beautiful color as well. This is just plain goat cheese crumbled right on top. I try to leave about a half an inch edge around the edge of the pizza so that when it's baking, the ingredients don't sort of tumble off the edge there. I have a three cheese blend that I've grated. It's Parmesan, Gruyere, and Asiago cheese all grated together. Then the second one we're gonna do, this is a little bit different take on um, a pizza using roasted vegetables. I'm gonna take these and top my second pizza crust that I've par baked. Add a little bit of caramelized red onion. Those I've just caramelized in a pan with a little bit of olive oil. What I have here is roasted butternut squash, carrots, and parsnips. Uh, you could do sweet potatoes. You could use um, any kind of root vegetable that you like. And then I have my three cheese blend again. This is my Asiago, Parmesan, and Gruyere. This is cheese. This is the best part of pizza, right? So be generous. And we're ready to take these into the oven. And the great thing about having a pizza oven is this is only gonna take three or four minutes for these pizzas to cook. Um, if you're doing these at home and you're doing them in your oven, turn it up to the highest heat it'll go, um, probably close to the 475, 500, and you should get a very similar effect. Okay, so now we are going to cut these up for service. So the way I would serve this is I would just take my knife and cut these into little triangles, and then take a little bit of my herb oil and just dress it up just a little. And then for our Mediterranean pizza, I have some beautiful mixed greens here. I'm gonna put just a little bit of balsamic vinegar and a little more of my herb oil and toss that together and serve that actually on top of the pizza so it gives it a little fresh crunch and the heat from the pizza will wilt the lettuce a little bit which will give it a really nice texture. Those are our two beautiful flatbreads.